cross-examination of Andrew Mubilu, who is the head of the forensic science at Uganda Police, went on today. And in court, they first brought all the exhibits that were picked from the crime scene at the residence of the late Henry Katanga, who was allegedly murdered on the 3rd of November 2023. The defense lawyer has asked Andrew Mobiru as to why he never took swabs for testing from some of the sticks and objects that were found inside the room, that is at the crime scene, and these are believed to be objects that could have been used by someone to hurt another person. The defense lawyers towards midday were done cross-examining Andrew Mobiru, who they have been cross-examining for more than a week, and then the judge gave a chance to prosecution to cross-examine him by making clarifications on some of the issues that were raised by the defense lawyers. And one of them is about the killer gun. The defense lawyers had raised a matter saying that the numbers, especially the markings on the killer gun, that is the CZ-99, was different from what they submitted as evidence in the report where it indicated that the killer gun was a CZ-999. This is a typing error in my report. And I apologize. They are uniquely identified by a serial number. Previously, the defense lawyers had told court that Andrew Mubiru had not picked swabs for testing from the housing of the trigger, but he indicated that actually he did that by producing real guns in court for a matter of demonstration. I swabbed the inner part of the trigger and also the inner part of the trigger house in that motion. After the police picked or removed swabs from the killer gun, it indicated that the DNA of the accused Mole Katanga, who is the wife to the deceased, was more predominant than that of the deceased. My Lord, the, the circumstances under which that can happen is where the intensity of the person contacting the surface is so great that they will shed a lot of DNA that will overpower the background DNA. Another matter that prosecution raised to Mobiru to explain was about the alleged contamination of some of the samples that he picked from the crime scene. My Lord, we run the all evidential material, all the profiles of evidence from the evidence against the elimination database in an attempt to identify a pollution event. Mobiru was also asked to explain as to why he never took fingerprints from the killer gun. My Lord, DNA takes precedence over fingerprints. Yeah. Which my idea of which takes precedence is a new matter. And if they want to open that matter, we should also be allowed to ask him questions about that. The defense lawyers previously asked Mobiru as to whether he had picked enough samples to carry out the testing that would give a credible report of a DNA analysis. So there are 25 locations, and of the 25, 23 are what we use for the, for the qualitative and quantitative examination. At about 1.30, court was adjourned until tomorrow, when prosecution will continue cross-examining and Mubiru, a key witness in this matter. Sudilbi Yorhanga, NTV, at the High Court Kampala.